Hi, Brian McCordy here for Safeopedia. Wouldn't it be nice if there's a pattern that we could follow for safety to help keep employees safe? As it turns out, there is a pattern. And our brain is a pattern-seeking machine. So actually, subconsciously, we are always looking for patterns. When we pull into a parking lot, we're looking for those parking lines to let us know how to park our car. Um, when we walk into a room, we're looking to see how it's organized to understand, again, um, what's going on in the room, be it a restaurant, a living room, or a warehouse. What happens when those patterns are gone? Then our anxiety goes up. When you pull into, say, a large Walmart parking lot after a fresh snow and all the lines are covered, now anxiety goes up because you've lost that pattern. We don't know how to park, and the cars that are parked are kind of all willy-nilly. We need to be at ease by knowing what those and recognizing those patterns. Okay, so what is the pattern for safety that I'm speaking about? It actually follows three levels. And we need all three to keep employees safe. They need to feel safe on all three of these levels. And what they are is emotional safety, professional safety, and then physical safety. If we don't follow that pattern, if we don't take care of those first two, emotional and professional safety, then we're not going to be able to take care of employees' physical safety. So let's look at these real quick. Okay, emotional safety. What that means is managers, supervisors, executives need to create a culture where employees feel safe emotionally. If they make a mistake, they're not going to get their butt chewed over it. They're not going to get harassed. They, they feel valued and respected. They feel like they're more than just a machine that uh, their managers or employers really do care about them as people. Remember, we're emotional beings. So we will usually put ourselves at risk physically to protect ourselves emotionally. If we've got goals or things we, we need to do to show good performance at work, again, we'll take risks to protect you know, that uh, emotion of not wanting to explain why we failed at something. So we need to know that we're valued as employees, that we're valued as people. That my supervisor sees me as a friend and cares about me more than just I'm a machine, someone that's expendable, that's just there working by the hour. Okay, now for the professional one, managers, supervisors need to create again a culture to where we feel safe as an employee that if I make a mistake, I'm not going to get demoted or fired. Uh, again, we will take risks to protect our job. If I know that my numbers uh, failing, say, in a manufacturing environment can get me demoted or fired, then maybe I'll take those risks of working with the equipment running when I should shut it down to make adjustments or do something. You know, we need to feel safe at our work. This is our livelihood, how we earn a living. So we've got to know that we're protected. I love companies like uh, Next Jump. Google, Procter & Gamble, Toyota, Southwest Airlines that go a long way to, towards showing loyalty to their employees. Toyota had made a comment a long time ago that um, they would not, never fire an employee for performance issues. They saw performance issues as an opportunity to improve training and to improve how they did their production system. So if someone had made a mistake that impacted performance, well, probably others have made that same mistake. So we need to look at how to create a better system. But there's loyalty there, and that goes a long way for the employees to feel valued. So if they feel safe emotionally and professionally, then they can feel safe physically and work safe. Um, if they don't feel safe emotionally, you know, um, they will take risks to protect their pride. And if they don't feel safe career-wise, well, they'll take risks to protect their job. So only when those two are in place, when that pattern is followed, will employees work safe. When you tell your employees, you know, work safe, but you're not doing those first two, they're not going to believe it. And why would they? Again, would you believe people want you to work safe when you know they don't care about you emotionally or they care about you as an employee? Those first two have to be in place then safety will be elevated. Then you can create a, a safety first culture. But if you skip those first two, safety's not going to work. Again, it's human nature. It's that way for all of us. You know, we'll put ourselves at risk physically to protect ourselves emotionally, and we'll definitely do it to protect our jobs. So make sure your employees feel safe on all three of those levels. Follow that pattern. Show that they're valued emotionally as people. You know, that they're cared for, that they're part of your team, part of your family, and that they're protected for their job. That, you know, one mistake's not going to get them demoted or fired. 
and then you can work on protecting them physically so there's no blood on the floor at the end of the day.